Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to the World of Light with Robberlink. Hello. Alright, so where we left off, we cleared out that lower right area. We freed Master Hand. Yep. And I think we're still a little bit tilted towards the dark side. So we might need to get rid of some more dark fighters, and then we can get rid of that last Master Hand, I think. I believe so. And so... Hmm. I was suspecting that maybe there would be another fighter if we defeat that master hand and it'll say maybe like forces of darkness have arrived or whatever. But when yeah. we start up the switch, it said he got all the fighters. So maybe, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So I might be a little bit tired. I had some caffeine but I don't know if it'll still show through that I'm tired or not. Uh, one of the big reasons, though, is because when I was trying to upload the previous four episodes, there was a bit of an issue. So they uploaded just fine, but then when I went to review them to make sure everything was fine, uh, three out of four of them didn't quite... They weren't quite right. They would freeze at one point, the video and the audio, and then I think one of them, the video returned eventually, but not the audio, and then the other two, both the video and audio came back eventually, but you would miss an entire, like, five minutes of the video. Hmm. Um, I think in... Okay, I wrote it down. Episode 49 of Smash, during the fight with the, the fighter Dark Samus... It froze, and then it unfroze, like, during our fight with Master Hand, where you actually unlock the spirit. And then, when it unfroze at that point, the audio never came back. So mm. you would have missed the entire rest of that episode. <laughs> and then in Fire Emblem, it, it happened to have frozen during the battle where Boyd classed up. So you would have missed that. Well then. And then, in the episode after that, it just froze during the conversation between Nelucci and Rayson. <laughs> Garen. Yeah, I don't quite recognize you. Yeah, I have no clue. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun to deal with. I had to try re-uploading the same video a few times over, try and figure out what was wrong. And uh, because our upload speed isn't that great, it took like between one and two hours just to re-attempt one upload. Hmm. So, that's why I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Octoling Octopus. Hmm. It kind of looks like something out of a Pixar movie. Kind of does. Interesting that's represented by a Greninja, not Ready? Inkling. <laughs> True. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did look online. It said... Some people had a somewhat similar problem with YouTube uploads back in 2019, and they said it was because of some program that you have to uninstall. But the thing is, it was something I'd never heard of and don't have installed, obviously, so <laughs> that certainly wasn't my problem. Hmm. It's like, ah, yes, let me fix this by uninstalling this one program that I do not have on my computer. No, that's the issue. See, you actually do need to install it and, and then, then uninstall it. <laughs> And somehow that's going to make it work. Of course. Also, uh, someone somewhere commented about when I mentioned the thing about silences in League of Legends, how they affect your summoner spells. Uh, I, I don't think I explained it very well. I did respond to the comment, but mm -hmm. because I don't think they've played League of Legends. Basically, you as the player are the summoner. You're not on the battlefield. You're supposedly, I think, canonically at some sort of pedestal or something. Yeah, where you, and you're like controlling the champion. Yeah. It, it. From what I remember, it looks like you're kind of like standing in front of a birdbath almost. But then in... With crystal balls. I think... It, right. I thought it was just like the surface of it, what would um, be the water, just is kind of like a crystal ball. You see 
the overhead view of the battlefield through that somehow. At least that's what I think I remember. And then, so the champion and the summoner are two different people technically. And if the champion gets silenced, you as a summoner can't use your summoner spells, which is what I was criticizing. But the thing is, I seem to remember bringing up this point to someone who did play League of Legends and I don't think they understood what I was trying to say or didn't think I was correct. I don't know. It makes sense to me. Yeah. So, so I remember feeling like I, it, it's like, I think one of the, one of us is really stupid. I'm not sure if it's me. <laughs> like, am I thinking about this wrong or are they just not getting what I'm saying? <laughs> but that was someone completely different a long time ago. Always sucks though. It's like, wait, one of us is dumb. <laughs> is it me? Yeah, but I think someone somewhere just thought I was because they didn't haven't played League of Legends. I think they were thinking I was talking about a specifically like a summoner class, like in an RPG, ah. why they should be immune to silences or something, and that's not what I was talking about. So I cleared that up, hopefully. Also, this naked snake, I think he's not technically the same as Solid Snake. I guess. Well, I don't, I don't know if it would be considered spoilers or not, so I'm not going to go into it, but I do, I do know this particular snake. It was, I believe, in the third Metal Gear Solid game, which I did play. Well, um, one of those snakes died, and it was apparently the right one. I had no idea what was going on the entire time, pretty much. It's like, what the heck is going on? It's like, ding, 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 good job, you did it. Great. What did I do? What did I do? <laughs> Enough, that's what. Yeah. yeah, it works for me. Pigma. Pigma Dengar? Yeah, I didn't recall him having a last name. Same. I just remember it as Pigma. Yeah, I know he was part of Star Wolf in 64, and then in Assault, they're like, Pigma is no longer a member of Star Wolf. Hmm. And that was part of the plot. Not a very big part. But it's like, what led into the plot, I guess. Hmm. It's like, what happened to Pigma? Why is he no longer with Star Wolf? What the heck happened? Every time we hang, hung around him, we just got a craving for pork. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. A uh, pig working with, with a wolf? Yeah. It's like, you better pilot that, uh, whatever it's called. You better pilot that wolf it really well, or I'm gonna blow your house down. Also, I like how I was represented by Wario. Ah, close enough. Dead. It's like, I'm sorry, Wario, I mistook you for a pig. Wait a second, that's perfect! <laughs> oh, I just stood there and let me shoot him. <laughs> he's he's watching it coming towards him, and in slow motion, he's thinking, "I wonder if I can eat that." <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh it's, that's a light spirit, yeah. so. Has it moved at all? Yeah. It's okay. like even now. All right, then. It's up to you if you want to go after Master Hand or get a few more Dark Spirits first. Hmm. Yeah, I'll kill a couple more. Captain K. Rule. Hmm. So I'm imagining this is probably from one of the Donkey Kong Country games. Neutral Special. Okay. Hmm. Stamina Battle. Okay. Invisible? What? Not okay. <laughs> his neutral special is just his cannon or blunderbuss thing, right? I assume so. Yeah, I only know him from Donkey Kong 64, in which case he did not wear any of that. Right. And I don't think he had his own gun. Hmm. Time to bring out the bounty hunter. Yep. I'm 
bring this pirate to justice. Not quite a space pirate, but close enough. It will have to do. Ouch. That is weird. How come his gun turns into like a vacuum cleaner as, as soon as it's done firing? Okay, have you seen how many times he's like perfectly shielded? I know I saw it once. He hit like three times before he went invisible. Oh, he did it again. Well, I or, mean, and dodging. Right. Considering how far we are into the game, I guess it would make sense if they're making the AIs more difficult. But also, I didn't really check the uh, the spirit power difference. It's a little bit above me. Mm, that could do it. A little bit, keyword. <laughs> Like, by a little bit, you mean a ton as All he right. plants you into the ground. <laughs> we can tell where you are. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, something I put in the compilation where in Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, the, uh, I, I think it was a dark commando. They go invisible and then kind of warp around. Okay, really? But if you, we, we... Mm. I think I hit him with a uh, charged light beam, so he had a burning thing. Oh, right, so you could see him. Yeah, basically his feet were on fire. <laughs> and you just see this flame whooshing around. Yeah, was, I remember that. <sighs> also, why is his smash, like, just... If you're on a horizontal plane with him, it hits you. It's not like Captain Falcon where it has to be a, like... Specific so distance? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It... It seems like they want to, you know, make it unique and maybe for balancing purposes, but uh, I don't think you need that much uh, accuracy on your final smash, King K. Roll. You seem to be just fine, even if it, even if it were harder to land. Yeah. Jeez. I didn't actually think about it, but. Yeah, if it's Captain K. Rule, would that be before he became king? I have no clue, I'll be honest. Or is he just, uh... Doing multiple jobs, having having himself be captain and king? Hmm. Oh. Rouge. Melee blows will heal them when they hit. Hmm. Oh yeah, is this the Sonic Heroes theme? I think it is. <laughs> Sorry, head bobbing. <laughs> Should be playing the game. It's like, why focus on one when you can do both? <laughs> the viewers will never know unless you tell them. <laughs> Good thing I haven't said anything. Wait. Why do you always toss the beam sword behind you? I didn't want to toss it. I just forgot that I have to toss it in order to do a grab. <laughs> okay. It's like, I'm already holding something. I can't grab them. It'd be funnier if you grabbed them while you were holding it and you're like <laughs> pushing it into their neck because it's like clipping. I mean, Hmm. That should be all that happened. Right, she grab she grabs the grapple beam. <laughs> Young Samus. Unfortunately the version from Mother M. Uh -huh. You know what this means, Samus. You must die. Uh -huh. Oh, and there's an extra snake probably to represent Adam. Oh ha ha ha. Also, do you remember this person? Well, person. 
or this place? Or have you not been here yet? Probably not been here yet. But you will. Like, Adam, stop tossing explosives. <laughs> I need to think. I need permission to use my own. <laughs> yeah, that was a strange game. <sighs> Eve? It just makes me think of uh, Wally. Yeah, it's like, uh. Eva! It even has Rob, which looks like Wally. <laughs> At least slightly. A little bit. With a head that's just basically binocular eyes. Increased energy attack power, eh? Like auto heal, auto heal fixes everything. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I do think the auto heal is making this probably a significant amount easier than when I played it. Hmm. Ow. Wait, what the? Did you just air dodge left? Yeah, I didn't mean to. Well, we know not that far anyway, and then afterward it wouldn't let me recover. Well, we know what went wrong, and that's the first step to fixing the problem. Air dodge bad. <laughs> air dodge off edge bad. <laughs> Thing is, I think I wanted air dodge earlier, but it didn't even start because I was still flying from recoil. Like hey parasite, yeah, parasite. Hey parasite queen, we're seeing a lot of you recently. What? It died. Is that a crit? They thought uh, I had like half its health left. It did say something occurred, like I heard the beep noise. Okay. I don't know if that just suddenly decreased its health or armor. I don't know. <laughs> Wasn't paying that much attention. It might have said defense down, but hmm. to the point where you can one shot it. That seems a bit odd. I was too busy mispronouncing Parasite Queen. Sorry. As Parasite something. To be fair, I was trying to say person earlier when referring to the Parasite Queen. Oh yeah, that's true. We both we both screwed up. Alright, the final master hand, maybe? Might be another crazy hand, though. It's the final master hand. do 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 I'm trying to think where I first heard that song, and I think it was Saints Row. I don't know if it was the second or the third one, because I'm not sure if I played the first one. But you know, in things like Saints Row and GTA, they usually put real music in it. Yeah. At least I think they do in GTA as well. It, it seems like it's a big thing with a lot of games that have cars as the main focus. Hmm. Because I'm thinking back to the old Accolade games like Test Drive Off-Road and just Test Drive 5 and then uh, Burnout Paras uh, Parasite Burnout Paradise they all they always have real music in it like you know mainstream music hmm rather than unique music composed specifically for the game i guess it's because cars are supposed to have radios and it's supposed to be right. like the radio is playing unfortunately in GTA 5 anyway it seems like most of it's rap or has something to do with drugs or something it's like come on i <laughs> i want to listen to something cool but not like rebellious in my Christian Minecraft server? Exactly. I 
There's what I was expecting. Yeah, there is another fighter. So why did... Wait. <laughs> I think I might know. So if you've played any of this outside of a world of light, you may have come across a random encounter with a character in the regular modes. If it happens to be this specific character, then you may have actually unlocked this character outside of the world of light. And that might be why it said you got everyone. Huh. Question is, who is this then? <laughs> we have to go the long way around to figure out. Lunala. So I'm guessing this is probably based off the moon because crescent shapes and also Luna in the name. We literally have Luna tone. What? I don't even know that one either. Well, that one's literally just shaped like a crescent moon. Oh, but I remember there was that dogish shaped one that seemed like it was based off the sun in an episode or two ago, I think. Hmm. Maybe longer. I think we have enough celestial Pokemon. <laughs> Although I have yet to see a Milky Way Pokemon. <laughs> Is it going to look like a dark blue fried egg or something? <laughs> well, maybe not fried, but like a over easy, I meant. I don't know if there's a big difference. <laughs> I'm not thinking. Oh, come on. That always really kills, that always kills Ridley first. If you do that, <laughs> really, except when the AI does it, apparently. Mm hmm. Really now. Try again. Everyone tells me that that always kills you know, the user first. It's supposed just to. Just to avoid this kind of thing. Ready? Go. Hmm. Is he actually like made of gold? I don't know. Because it looks, it looks more metallic than just the gold colored Ridley. I don't know if there is actually a difference between if they're metal or gold, other than the color. It might just be an aesthetic thing. Over here, Ridley. Okay, not like that. Dang it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Gosh dang, he footstooled you right into it. Okay, that was kind of fun, though, I will admit. <laughs> Just Paul was trying to avoid getting off. All right. Now you die. <laughs> Doesn't even let it finish. Yeah, just cut away as you're vaporizing him. It's like, oh, this is getting gruesome. But, uh, let's cut away. <laughs> Can't show blood or anything. <laughs> Ah, fierce deity. As opposed to regular deity? Well, this is just a specific form of link that you can get in Majora's Mask. I believe I've mentioned this at least twice. I know. This is the strongest link, in my opinion. Easy to launch, reduce defense, and the enemy has increased attack power. <laughs> if we were a boss in a Majora's Mask game, fighting fierce deity, yeah, we'd lose. Fear Stadia is pretty overpowered. But fun and cool. Hey, he's giant, right? Yes. Hmm. I know there's one boss you're supposed to use the giant's mask against, which makes you a giant. But after you get Fear Stadia's mask, you can choose to use that instead. So you can either be a giant young Link or a regular sized Fear Stadia against these giant worm-like creatures called twin mold. Hmm. So it's like, you're a lot tinier than them, but you can still murder them. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. <laughs> we shall show you, Fierce Daddy, that... Not even you can fight the Kong. 36 damage right off the gate. Okay. Well, 
Well, he yeah. really did not stay buried. So if this was really accurate, then uh, every time he s s swung his sword, he would probably launch magic at you. <laughs> you know, like kind of like when you have full health as Link. Hmm. Fierce State, he can just do that all the time. <laughs> what? What do you? What do you do? He hit you with like a arrow of empowerment. See if I realize I was only a bomb. <laughs> well, that worked. Oh. And sword attack up. Only one slot, though. That's annoying. Oh, wow. It's annoying. They give you all these good spirits at some points that then have, like, a disappointing number of slots. It's like, well, then how is he better than others? <laughs> yeah. I guess if you want raw power instead of utility. I suppose so. I forget. Are there some spirits that just don't have slots at all? Right? Well, there might be like one or two, but I I, th I think they all have at least one. Hmm. Oh, it's Bayonetta. I guess where we already got Bayonetta. I know we fought a few spirits that were represented by her, but I'm not sure. Huh. I guess not. All right, then. Let's complete the collection. Once and for all. Ready? Go! So, random thought. Uh, I've told you about the Distractable Podcast, yes? It sounds familiar. I probably forgot it. I am sorry. <laughs> it's it's the podcast Markiplier has been doing with Bob and Wade. Ah. One of the things they talked about, I think, last week from when we were recording this had to do with various things about, I think they called them synch synchronicities, but also they talked about deja vu, like the experience of deja vu and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I've, I've always had like a bit of a theory about deja vu. Ooh. That could be completely wrong, but it's just a thought. As someone who knows a little bit about programming, I feel like deja vu is like when your mind is like recording memory and reading it at the same time. So you're reading what you're experiencing as a memory as it's happening. Hmm. Interesting thought. I don't really know much about the brain myself, so... I can't lend any credence to that. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm but, actually talking about. It's just a thought. Like, maybe but, this but is what's happening. I, I see the logic yeah. of what you're trying to say. It looks like we're in a giant Pac-Man. The path. Huh. <laughs> you're right. It's like, help me. I'm being eaten by this Pac-Man. Release me. No. You get one release. Release of life. Embrace death. By monkey. So, if we kill you, will you slap the sky as well? Looks like you're trying to put your hand in there. <laughs> I want to wear you. Yes. What is he doing? Oh. What are these strange newfangled moves they've given you? It's not like the crazy hand I remember. Okay, that I remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that works. Wasn't expecting you to pull that off. <laughs> Me either, I'll be honest. It's like, come here. <laughs> I know you're coming. Uh, Directly into the slap. It's like you thought you could escape. 
Uh, it's like, I don't know how realistically possible it might be. I think there was like a Mythbusters episode about it, but it's like trying to catch a sword by clapping your hands together. <laughs> I think the Mythbusters determined that you could not do that. You've freed Crazy Hand from Darkon's control. There was control? Only chaos. Hmm. All right, do the slap. Okay, not quite a slap. A drill. There we go. Well, okay. Well, that works. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, now we got some bright sires to kill, but... Perhaps we can do that next time. I think that sounds like a plan. All right, so we'll see you guys then. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Bye.